What's up, Hyper Drivers? Welcome back to the channel. To say that I'm excited about this figure right here would be a gross understatement. I've been waiting for this one for well over a year now, probably almost two years I've been waiting for this. This is the Mandalorian and Grogu six scale figure by Hot Toys, the Chrome Edition. Let's get this thing unboxed. Welcome back my friends to another figure unboxing. I am the Medina Lorian here to talk to you more about all the cool Star Wars collectibles that are out there that you could be adding to your Star Wars collection. If you like Star Wars like I do, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can jump to light speed every week with us right here on the Hyperdrive. So this is not going to be my typical unboxing. At this point, everybody and their grandmother already has this figure, but I did get this for a lot less over at Comic Concepts, and they do have the best prices on all Hot Toys and Sideshow bar none. So if you want to get the best price on those type of things, make sure you check out Comic Concepts. I'll leave a link in the description below for you guys to get to them. So like I said, this is not going to be my typical unboxing. I'm not going to go over every single piece that comes inside of this one and you know, and all of that extra jazz that you get in the other videos. This is mainly to record my reaction and mostly I like looking at these things because I love to chronicle my reaction to the stuff that I get, good or bad, through my collection journey. So that's basically what I'm going to be doing. But at the end of this video, what I want to do is I want to have an epic photo shoot with this. So stay tuned for that. We're going to do a lot of cool stuff. I've been collecting a lot of different Star Wars figures in anticipation for this guy. And I'm just, I'm hyped. I cannot wait to, to see this. So let's get this guy out of the box. This is going to be so much fun. This is the cover that you get with it, which is really cool from that scene in the very first episode of season two. I think this was, no, second episode of season two after the... Speeder was destroyed, I think is where that came from. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's just pull this all out. All right, so you get two different things, two different layers in the clamshell. All kinds of goodies in this one. <laughs> three layers, three layers of stuff. This is awesome. All right, so, ah. Oh. The Chrome Edition. This is so dope. Damn, I love that Chrome. I understand what Seth would used to say. I love Chrome. This is cool. <laughs> oh, and I love it when the when the plastic comes off like that. That's the way. This is the way to unbox a Hot Toys. Just to let you know, this is the way. I love this. I love love the Chrome, man. Look at that. Look at, look at that. It's so shiny. This is the way they should have released it on the original figure, the, the original uh, best car version. They did one just before this one. The minute this one went up for pre-order, I sold the, the first one. It's because, I mean, this is, this is nice, all right? What I love about it is going to be, is the way that the colors, let me turn this light on right here. Let me, uh, I think it's already on. Just turn it on. There we go. This is what I'm going to really like about this photo shoot with this guy. Look at the way light reflects off of it. This is, this is going to be perfect for adding all kinds of lights around it and everything and, and getting like laser blasts and stuff like that. This is going to be dope. So you got double joints on the elbows. That's perfect. Got double joints at the knee. Love that. You got a, you got a wire in the cape. So you can pose the cape too. And they got all kinds of dirt and grime in the armor. That is sick. Look at that. Look at the way that looks on the mud horn, man. Fantastic. That is fan freaking tastic. What else we got here? You got Pedro Pascal's portrait, which looks money. This looks right on point, man. Look at that. Look at that portrait, man. That is fantastic, man. Look, look and they even got the disheveled hair. Look at the sculpt on the hair and the way that it looks like the hair is picking up in the back. That is super, super cool. They did a great job with that. <laughs> you got another little Grogu figure. Because, you know, you always need another Grogu figure. Head turns. Arms don't move. So the body is, is, um, is stuck in place. So this is how he looks. I'm not really going to use this figure too much, though. So it's cute and all that. But, you know, for me, it's Mandalorian. You get a dark saber. It's 
Too bad it don't light up. But this is cool. Look at that. Look at the details on that. Let me get closer so you guys can see this. Check that out. That is perfect. Love the way that looks. Just wish it lit up. That's about the only thing I, would, I could say about that. Um, what else we got? You got all kinds of guns and stuff there. You got his, you got his jet pack. So I don't know if you guys know, but I'm um, in the process of building a, a season two version of the armor for myself, you know? So I could have a life-size version of, uh, of the Mando costume that I can wear to cons and stuff. So can't wait to compare and work with uh, this Hot Toys version here to see how they match up. Check out that jetpack. Damn, this is cool. So I got one of these on order that I'm gonna paint up. Something rattling in there though, but yeah. Um, you got all kinds of other gadgets and stuff, hands. Cool, you got the whistling birds. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> That looks really, really neat. All right, what else, what else? You got another layer down here. And in this layer you got uh, Boba Fett's armor. So you got his, uh, his helmet that he got from Cobb Vanth, so dope. And you got uh, the jetpack. Which looks really cool. And you got the part from the, um, from the speeder bike that he used to put around his, in his back and everything. That's how he carried everything over the desert. What am I missing here? Okay, you got a base. Yeah, it looks like he's got everything. He's got everything, man. This is going to be cool. I can't wait to actually get to the photo shoot. So we're going to get to that in just a second. But I got to say... My thoughts on this right now, I think this is going to be, at least for me, the best Star Wars figure of 2023. Maybe even the best Hot Toys. I got, I just, I'm going to throw it out there. It's possible that it could be that, but we're not at the end of the year to, to, to go with that. But all of this stuff that you get and how good this portrait looks and the way that armor looks, this thing is dope. All right. Let's get to the other figures out. I'm going to take this thing outside. We're going to do some pictures and have a little photo shoot. And I'll give you my final thoughts. Right, guys that's gonna be it i hope you guys enjoyed the photo shoot this is my favorite figure oh my god i love this thing so much i can't believe how well balanced this guy is considering all of the stuff that i have attached to this pole right now that he's holding on to it's, it's insane um absolutely love it from the paint job all the way down to the posability of this figure this is an incredible piece and if you haven't already picked it up i highly recommend you getting it let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments below and until next time may the force be with you